Uh, the press right now, the management press as, uh, as well as the popular press, are starting to recognize a theme which is, well, under a number of terms, being called the global mobilization of people. In business, we're calling it the global mobilization of talent because, of course, this is an opportunity uh, to be able to realize new faces, new populations of tomorrow's workers entering the workforce, and we need to find ways of harnessing and understanding why this is happening. Right now, uh, the World Economic Forum, uh, the World Health Authority are tracking these. Uh, Hydrogen Struggles, we have been engaged in the last three years on a program called the Global Talent Index, uh, a very effective and powerful program of profiling talent in countries and comparing them to each other's nations. And that's reached its sell-by date because the tiny flaw in that plan is that we now realize that it's not a static animal that talent's mobilizing. And we're now, this year, looking at talent in Nation A that was in Nation B last year. And as a result, those projects are evolving into not tracking talent in static sense, but tracking it as if we were tracking schools of fish around the world. Now, the reason that's happening is because of, well, two perfect storms coming together. The first storm, which would have been hard enough for management to be able to deal with, is the fact that populations of talent in domestic markets are rapidly shrinking. Some of that is due to anthropology, the fact that we are uh, not replacing our current workforce as rapidly as we were. And if we take the US alone, in 2008, two people left the workforce for every one that joined. And that is not changing over the next 18 years. Um, so we're dealing with the fact that populations are smaller. We're also dealing with, on the other side, that companies are being told to well, continue growing. Uh, there isn't a board anywhere that's being asked by its shareholders to shrink its organization. So with a rapidly reducing population of talent and a demand for rapidly increasing that, of course we're setting up a, uh, a, a, an environment where there's going to be some pressure on supply and demand. Instead of organizations trying to solve that, which is where we were in the past, what we now have is the choice of talent choosing to mobilize itself.